Hello everyone, welcome to today's daily run. That looks like Samson. Yesterday we did extremely badly. That's on me, because I suck. Curse of the Lost is fine. Uh, it's not Curse of the Labyrinth, which means we can go into this curse room straight away. Uh, and see what it has to offer, which is not looking like much more than the opportunity to fight these sons of a bitches. Without ruining our deal with the devil opportunity, there's two cents. Good start. Where are we going? We're going to Mom's Heart. Which means we have to do boss rush, but we don't get to do hush, which is my favourite thing. And it also means we get to scour around and look for some way of getting past Mom's heart. Usually an Awas rune, or a deal with the devil that gives us uh, a shovel. Those are the obvious options. I'm trying to think if this is anything else that will actually send you down to the next floor. I honestly can't think of anything, but I'm sure I'm missing something. I suppose, um... No, because... I'm aware that on a normal run, if you had something like um, the teleporter or undefined... Excuse me, please let me pick that pill. Lemon pot is a nice pill. Oh, that's an, often, an obvious way of doing it. If you had something like undefined or the teleporter, there's a chance that you can get the... Do I want this? I suppose so. What am I saying? Error room. And the error room is usually a guaranteed trip to the next... Well, it's always a guaranteed trip to the next floor, provided there is a next floor. Um, but on the dailies, you're guaranteed never to get the error room unless you can already go to the next floor. As far as I understand, that's what I heard on Reddit. And if it's on Reddit, it must be true. We now have 4 HP and we're Samson. Which really, really means we want to try and get 5 cents if we can. And um, try and get an arcade on the next floor. Also, Spirit Heart from Larry Jr. here is a really opportune time to have one. Uh, excuse me. That was my last bomb, you dick. And you fucked it up. It's got your name on it, mate. Uh, so we'll leave that there for now. We'll take our speed and range upgrade, which will let us run a little bit faster around these rooms and walk into things a little bit faster. Just to uh, get the exploration bonus from that. If I had that spare bomb back. But I don't. So I would have liked to have five cents, but we're not going to get five cents. There is a chance that a blood bank will spawn anyway. Just at random in a room. I don't know if there was a way of getting five cents on that room. Uh, on that floor. Our secret room may have been somewhere to go to. But I really don't like trying to look for secret rooms when we have to deal with Curse of the Lost. Because secret rooms, you can usually tell where they are based on the map. Especially on early floors. On later floors, you tend to... That's a lot of bombs. You tend to find that you can tell a secret room because of the shape of the room that's next to it. Several rooms are... You know, there's always a secret room next to this room sort of rooms. Uh, but on the cellar and the caves, uh, on the cellar and the basement and the burning basement, on the first two floors, just don't fuck it, um, you don't tend to get those types of rooms because there's no chasms. I don't know if you've noticed, but there's only one room in, that I've ever seen in the burning basement that has chasms. Ooh. Although, that being said, there are a lot of rocks, so it's not like the chasm concept is uh, is completely avoided. It's just not in the situation we'd like. Uh, use dead bird is, is shit. <laughs> this is not a good run for anybody. Well, that's okay. We still have a spirit heart and a half left, as far as I understand. So you don't tend to find templates that tell you there's a secret room next to the room you're in. Is my point. Uh, do we want to do this curse room? Excuse me, where are all the bad dudes at? These fuckers disappear around the room. Does my fucking head in, mate. Let's see if we can be a little bit faster than we normally are. As Samson, you would like to try and somehow take the damage required to get Bloody Lust to activate, because that's really where your power is. But you also want to do it without actually taking the damage. So we'd be looking for some way of taking Red Heart damage without it counting against us for a deal with the devil, which is basically the IV bag, and that's it. Um, in fact, the IV bag would allow us to go into the curse room without taking the spirit heart damage that we would be afraid of for this exact fight. Um, let's, pardon me. Actually, uh, dead bird's all right on this fight, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna allow this. Now, if you could aggro the haunt here, please, thank you. That would be super useful. We did take an extra hit. Um, I don't think it's that big of a problem. If we take a couple more hits, then we've probably squandered our deal with the devil, but 
At this stage, I'm quite happy to let Dead Bird just do all the damage. Avoid these shots. Get some in where we can, but... We did not get the opportunity to really ramp up our damage with Bloody Lust, which is the item that causes you to do more damage. As you take more damage, the box is also shit. However, it has some pretty decent stuff in it. And we'll not take this yet in case it's a teleportation. We will take these. That's very that's very fun. I do like uh, Empty Vessel. That's Balls of Steel, which is also really good. So now we have a considerable amount of uh, HP, even though we don't have, know quite how much. And there's big peaks on my <laughs> on my waveform as I'm recording this because I'm closer than I think, I think. And also, that was loud. And because I'm not looking at this screen, but I'm looking at that screen, I don't know where I'm going. We've only got four cents, so I'm not going to bother going to the shop even though we could. We'll just leave. We might as well take this. It doesn't really do much for us. Emergency contact just holds a unit in place. A unit. It's like I've been playing Darkest Dungeon a lot. Um, it holds an enemy in place for a while. That's pretty good. Actually, that's really good. If you got this far, which I hope many people did, although I can imagine losing to the haunt is not uncommon. Fuck you guys. Yeah. How's Put that in your pipe and smoke it. Shit. I bounced off this. You must remember, if there was an item on these chests, the chest counts as an item pedestal and will not move. Which is uh, hateful, but it's the way it is. It's the way of the world. Not all things can be fair. Pragmatism, not idealism. Uh, the um, the head of the keeper is not a tears. It doesn't improve your tears in any respect. It just makes them drop pennies sometimes when they uh, hit things. I think it's when they hit enemies. I nearly walked into that, but that's okay. But it's not a damage upgrade, no, it, even though it looks like it kind of should be. We're done here. Uh, okay. You open. Good. We did it. Now we can go to the shop, and we can definitely continue to go to the shop and not necessarily have to... Ooh, bad. Not worry too much about uh, how much money we've got. Although, it would be a good idea to save five cents for the next floor, because as, no as mentioned and or noted, as notioned, which is what I said, um, we could get uh, the blood bank from an arcade. Uh, that's not that good. Uh, and therefore have a chance of getting the IV bag and therefore balling out control. Especially since we don't have a spacebar item, the IV bag is basically ideal. Um, but even to get an arcade at all with the blood bank in it, we'd at least get the damage upgrade afforded to us by just doing the damage from the IV bag in the first, uh, from the blood bank in the first place. Now we've got infinite bombs, which makes me quite happy. The reason these uh, red hearts are dropping, by the way, is that we have Bloody Penny. Which causes half a red heart to drop at random when you pick up a penny. I think it's 50% chance, so it's quite a lot of HP. So if we can find a way of using that HP in a constructive manner, which is kind of what you want to be doing. These are such shit items, man. We should go in here. This is great. This is not what I thought it was, but it's still great. I got excited because it's the same shape as... Um, that trinket. Blind Rage. Just use all the bombs, man. No one cares. Just use them. Get out of here. You've got infinite bombs. Hey, yeah, you can have one. Have another one. Yeah, how's that tickle your fancy? The uh, the eyeball here is a bit like a shit version of Succubus. Uh, as in... I walked into this fire trying to get out of the way of the shots that I probably should have just tanked the damage off. I want him to stop move thing. It worked. Guppy head, guppy uh, item though. That's fine with me. I think we should probably start trying to think about getting a move on. Hmm. I've taken a lot more damage than I'd like, and it's all damage that counts against us. Oh, I've only got four cents. You should have kept shooting. There's a fifth one now. I should have at least explored a little bit until I found a fifth cent, because considering everything I've been talking about, trying to get a blood bank, and then to completely whiff on the actual only thing you need to do to get that blood bank is a major misplay. I mean, it's okay. It's not going to be the end of the world. It's just we're really slow because all the items that we've actually picked up are shit. So what we're doing here is playing Samson Meta, as in take damage constructively. 
<laughs> because you can't do damage. Uh, all the rooms are going to be really slow, is what I'm saying. Especially these bony rooms where you have to keep moving. Or just get hit and explode the whole room anyway. This is the secret room. We don't have infinite bombs anymore, so... <laughs> don't try this at home. Um, I guess we don't really want to use them offensively too much. Don't get caught in the corner, though. That would be a stupid idea. A noobish idea. Be a schoolboy error. But these things should not take this many shots to break in the ooze stage. We're getting plenty of consumables, especially coins and HP, obviously, as a result of the coins, which is a pretty nice synergy if you're using your HP, which we're kind of not. There you go. Uh, no? Okay. Like, these things might turn into bonies, which is what worries me. But we're taking so long to do any damage to anything, it's kind of... It's a bit demoralizing. It's making me really wonder whether we're going to be able to get to Boss Rush. Hmm... Especially if we keep going the wrong way. I mean, powering through a floor and not exploring it all, that's kind of okay. But we don't have infinite bombs on this floor, so we can't just sort of bomb our way through all the rooms. We're not getting the exploration bonus because we want to get there quickly, but... I mean, we kind of need the exploration bonus to, to compete. Which means there may be people who thought ahead and didn't spend the money or got a bit more cash. And, um... This is fucking bullshit. Get out of here. Uh, and got the um, the blood bank at some point. Which is what I was kind of hoping to achieve. And therefore, have actually picked up some damage on at least one of these floors. What is this, though? It gives us this five cents. Gee willikers. I mean, our shops have been... Like, we've been able to buy stuff from our shops. I haven't wanted to buy anything from our shops. It's all been shit. You just leave it out, okay? It's not worth it. This is the secret room. Probably should have put that ages ago so I didn't have to wait for it. Oh, it's a super secret room. That's interesting. I'm not a fan of how many uh, red fires there are right now. Oh, I'm a fan of that, though. The game's being good to me right now. <laughs> just trying to bait the fire into a... Oh, hello. Get over there. That's a lot of uh, HP right there, but I don't really need it, as probably mentioned. We're not really rolling on red HPs. I should have probably just used our bombs here. Yeah, definitely should have used bombs there. I didn't want to get any closer to the red fire. Look, there's a lot of stuff we just picked up. Which is fine. Actually, uh... Peeper's eye there. The peeper... Oh, I always do that. The peeper there has actually done some decent damage on this floor, which I'm grateful for, because... I was really not going to. We might as well fight this boss. Probably the fucking stain. Oh no, it's Gurdy. Okay. The thing about Gurdy. It's such a pain. Excuse me? I thought these things didn't walk into you. Whatever. It's such a bugger to fight because it's so tanky. What? Why was I deflected just now? Could someone. Can we talk about this? I was deflected into Gurdy for some reason. Which confuses the shit out of me, but whatever. So many coins. Of course, the less damage that we're doing, the more opportunities we have to shoot a coin at an enemy, <laughs> and the more money we get. But we don't have money equals power, so that's not really that that important, I suppose. Uh, more HP is okay. We will take Guppy's head, and we will take the pentagram. It's a damage upgrade, which is good, but also we know how we like flies. Uh, we can't do the boss trap room. I, I'd forgotten about it, to be fair. We could have done it just before I picked up that HP, but I only get out of here. We've got an XL floor, which will... At least allow us to uh, speed our way through to the um, to the end of this floor and therefore boss rush. But ah, I got stuck on a pit. Uh, it just damages everything in the room, so I can't be too salty. But we can't use all of our HP like this. It's not sustainable. We don't have an infinite amount of this stuff. This is one of those situations where you probably should have been doing enough damage ages ago to deal with this room efficiently and quickly. Thank you for being slightly less ranged than would have hurt me. This is fucking irritating as shit. At least I got one of them. This is going to take fucking forever. It's like actual gluttony. What BS that turned out to be. Well, we've got a, a full card, which means we can 
steal something from Boss Rush if we want to, or maybe teleport out of the curse room or something like that. It's a teleport card, and that's what's important. Yeah, flies, just deal with this son of a bitch for me, will you? Get one of them at least, and then maybe the people there will get rid of the other one. I'll chase this one down. There we go. Where's my uh, coin drops, by the way? Expecting a few more than uh, none so far. Man. Even though we got the pentagram, our damage is still pretty abysmal. Not sure why that would be. The pentagram's a decent damage upgrade. We also got um, speed and range earlier, so that's not really a damage upgrade. It's not at all a damage upgrade, because it's speed and range. But I think our only damage upgrade to date has been the pentagram there. Which doesn't fill me with confidence. It's something I say a lot. <laughs> We could not do this room if we chose to not do this room, but we kind of need to do this room because it's the points. The points are in this room. And because we're on an XL floor, uh, we do have to consider the fact that we're not going to get another opportunity to do this on what would be the next floor, except we don't have a next floor. Well, we have the womb type of the next floor, but... Man, leave me alone. I hate this, though. They keep making you move, so you can't... Um, you can't aim at anything. I've discovered the trick with those things. Is don't worry about the shots. You may get hit by the shots, but I think you're more likely to get hit by them if you're bouncing around trying not to, which is kind of counterintuitive. It sort of feels like a moving target should be hit harder to hit by random shots than a static target, but I think that's not quite true, because if you're moving around, you sort of have this psychological instinct to... Um, to try and dodge them. Oh, fuck. Yeah. That's happening. Infested? Sure. Whereas, um... Oh, shit. <laughs> I didn't mean to go through it, so I wasn't ready for it. Uh, if you're standing still, you're not gonna be trying to dodge around. Now, if you won't accidentally dodge into them, because you're trying to dodge away from them, if that makes sense. It's quite easy to dodge into them as a result of trying not to. Here's one of our two item rooms. Yeah, so if you just stand still. Seems to work. Mm. <laughs> I guess you could min-max the game with this, but I don't think so. Like, I think you can break the game with that item. All that item does, by the way, it's the uh, glowing hourglass. It lets you redo a room. But I think it actually resets your progress on that room. So, for example, if the donation machine locks up, you can use it and then the donation machine will be unlocked up again. But the donation machine is one of the few situations where using that item does not sort of undo the effect of being in the room. What? That's not a secret room. So if you were to kill some enemies and then use it, you would have unkilled the enemies and lost the consumable that you got. Whatever dropped from the room. Man, Guppy's head is actually being extremely useful for us right now. Although it could explode these flies, and I'm not a fan of that. Um, so, I don't really know how to use it. And we do have Guppy's head, which is basically the only thing keeping us alive at the moment. We've got Guppy, and I'm a fan of that. And we've got Flight as well. <laughs> it's not that great, but maybe we can find ourselves a couple of Spirit Hearts. Maybe in a tinted rock or two. We don't need to worry too much about... Um, no, here's our other item room, which is cool. Uh, we've got enough to re-roll this until it turns into something I actually give a shit about. Which is not that. Uh, oh, you fucking dick! We'll keep going then. Screw it. It's got to be something better than Cricket's head. Sure. <laughs> I guess I'm taking this. I really, really wish that I hadn't... Gone by... Um, Actually, we're doing a lot of damage right now. I wish I hadn't gone by Cricket's head. That was a complete mistake. I hadn't even realised it was there until it was gone. Right, we need to find the boss now. We found both item rooms, which is lucky, because I wasn't going to go in that direction for quite some time. We can fly with Guppy, so any time we hit an enemy with a tear, uh, or do damage, I suppose, we get a fly. We have Guppy's head, and we get a fly from that. What's our other Guppy item? Oh yeah, Guppy's collar. So we could uh, come back to life if we accidentally fuck it up completely. But I feel a lot stronger just as a result of whatever happened recently. Uh, I think our aura stat boost 
as Purity has given us, that's really, really good as well. Uh, Dagars. I will use it because I don't want to lose my Eternal Heart or get hit. I don't want to take any Red Heart damage if I can avoid it. Uh, yeah, our Aura Stat Boost I assume is damage at this stage because we're doing a lot more damage than I anticipate. The only thing I really picked up, which was the wrong thing, uh, was the Purity thingy. So we'll, um, we'll fight the Mask of Infamy over here. This is a good opportunity to use emergency contact, I think. Yeah, go fuck yourself. Done. That's actually a really good use of that, and I'm very happy with what just happened. I'll we'll take this, and we've got 50 seconds to beat Blue Mom. As Guppy, without an orbital, but with a lot of flies. So, I wouldn't mind a tears upgrade just to produce more of these flies. Every time we hit something, we produce a fly, right? So what we want is more often to be able to hit. So a faster rate of fire. That is already over. We'll take this because it's chasing us down. And we'll just go in here. We basically have to do this. Um, I think Aquarius is the only real option here. We do get a Guppy's Head Charge on every... Um, on every Wasp name. Wait. So we get a few extra flies just to start us off, I think, is really the only option there. The only value from having Guppy's Head at the start of each one of these. Guppy itself is obviously outrageously powerful and extremely valuable. If you could, uh... I was kind of hoping I could get the one to shoot the other with a brimstone laser, but it didn't work out that way. We're going to get plenty of money from this because we're not doing a huge amount of damage. But we have kept the aura. Until we get hit, we're going to keep this aura. And don't let me uh, pretend we're not going to get hit, okay? I'm going to try and keep... Oh. I'm going to say, I'm going to try and keep these little haunts alive so that the big haunt isn't floating around the top of the screen. So we beat Monstro, but uh, we have actually already beaten Monstro, so that's not really an issue. Hello? Ah, it is the Frail. El Frailo. As he is known in his native country. He's actually uh, an immigrant. Mexican immigrant. Reminds me of uh, Grim Fandango a little bit. Oh, don't get hit. Okay, well done. If we get hit, the uh, aura boost changes. It will change to another stat, I think. But it might just turn off. <laughs> but then we will get um, a charge. No, we will get a uh, dead bird. Dead bird will show up. Ooh. I seem to be reacting slightly faster today than I am known to be. Ah, dick. Okay. Well, I don't feel any different. Maybe we changed it for... I mean, it could randomise to the same one, perhaps. Because I seem to be... Ooh, I happen to move at exactly the right time. Don't let me pretend that I did that on purpose. I accidentally got out of the way of Mega Fatty, even though I didn't know Mega Fatty was there. These flies are really helping. Which is kind of what they're for, I suppose. I mean, you can't really be surprised that having Guppy makes you outrageously powerful. But anybody who did go to these curse rooms will not have the Guppy transformation right now. There's a bloody Tinted Rock right here. We should be using Ooh, Small Rock! I haven't had Small Rock for a long time, and it's a very good damage upgrade. So we'll take this while we know where the stain, uh, the stain is. Yeah, the stain. Now we've got a good damage multiplier. All our flyers are going to be doing sufficiently extra damage. Well, uh, significantly? I don't know what I'm saying here. What I mean is more damage. Ooh, also Sackboy. Didn't we just beat you? Um, no, we beat the other one. Gemini itself. Sackboy head. Sack head boy. Some of the coins that drop as a result of uh, the Keeper, which turned our tears into coins, some of the coins that that produces will actually be... Yeah, kill him. Thank you. That's uh, sacks. Which is where these sacks have come from. Right here. Uh, pardon me. I, I don't actually mind it when Carrion Queen drops a red poop exactly where all the... Uh, the bad dude's staff. I do not like it so much when she drops it up there, but you can't win them all. So you you show up, and then... Wait, didn't we beat you already? No, we beat Gemini. When they show up, they pop the poop, and then the poop comes back and hurts the shit out of them. It's great. Hurts the shit out of them. Death. Everything die. There you go. 
We're done. We have got number two. Shall we do it? We'll do it. A bit dangerous. Number two, when you fire for three seconds. Poop, butt bomb. So that's fun. We'll just go. We're not going to be fighting the host, so what we're really looking for now is self-sacrifice room. And I've only seen one so far, but we haven't been exploring all the floors. Now we have a good opportunity to explore all the floors because we're not on a timer anymore. Remember about the butt bombs. So I think we're faster now. I think that's what this is. Uh, this aura is. I think it's a faster aura. We've got the hangman, which is useless to us, and the hangman, which is useless to us. Thanks. <laughs> we can now fly because of fate. We can fly because of guppy. I'm going to take this. I really like this. And um, we can fly because we have two hangman cards. So I know that redundancy is valuable, but not that much. The Emperor. We could just use the Emperor card. Man, look at all this shit. I'm going to... I'm really considering using the... Uh, the die shard? What do we get? Speed down. That's okay. Flat penny is actually probably better for us than what we did have. Apart from the fact that what we did have just now was that golden horseshoe. And what the golden horseshoe does, pretty simply, is it has a chance for item rooms to be double item rooms and give you a choice of two items. But there are no item rooms anymore. Careful of that. Temperance, that's what we want. Yes. Nope. <laughs> Watch out there. So, temperance is a blood bank. Which could have happened a lot earlier, but it didn't. So that's okay. And now we have, in, instead of the golden horseshoe, is a uh, flat penny. And what that'll do is produce keys when we pick up coins. Which we can then pick up. So now we have a synergy that will help us out in terms of points. And that's what we're here for, points. We've got a temperance, two temperance cards. So we'll use one of them. Old bandage is paying out with, um... Oh my goodness. <laughs> Old bandage is paying out with HP, allowing us to heal up. The sack head is paying out with sacks. And I don't mean golden sacks, I mean actual fucking sacks. Emperor. Joker. Two of spades. Joker. We might as well use one of them. What have you got for me? Just chests. That's okay. Cursed Eye is just not going to happen. Uh, except complete... <laughs> I was going to say, unless I pick it up by accident, which I then immediately fucking did. Before I'd even got the opportunity to say it, I did it. I used HP that I didn't intend to use. Now we've got a Chariot card. So we're hoping to get some HP out of the Blood Bank, in case you were wondering. Two of Spades again is more keys. Kicker -ke keys. Tower. Tower. Well, I'll hit it again. We've got the uh, IV bag, which is exactly what we asked for in the first place. So I'm going to leave Guppy's head behind because we are already Guppy. And we'll take IV bag, which will give us the opportunity to use basically the Temperance card whenever we want to. And now I have Cursed Eye, which is a charge shot. So I have to not get hit whilst I'm charging it because if I do. I will teleport to somewhere random. But not, unfortunately, the error room. So we can't get to... We can't get to where we want to go with that. Oh, God. Curse of the fucking maze. <laughs> Nearly walked me into that bomb. What a dick. Right. Right, right, right. Okay, so we can go in there if we want to. We should probably uh, avoid getting hit. That's good. Right, one of our temperance cards, of which we have another... Paid out with the IV bag. A sack. Two of hearts. Two sure. Of hearts. Temperance is what we started with. Wheel of Fortune. We will blow both of these up at the same time by accidentally playing one first. That's also fine. Kind of hoping for a sack, but that's okay. We didn't get one. Don't have the sack. Any uh, eternal hearts? No. Spirit hearts would be good as well, from a tinted drop, for example. But we don't need one. It's not imperative. I don't want this. I don't even remember what it does. I'm pretty sure I don't want it. Double li well, Little Horn and the Fallen at the same time. So these four shots I'm firing at once, they all charge up. Yeah, that's good. I'm fan of that. We've been in there. We've already seen that. I kind of feel like I should have... Um, we should probably take the Joker rather than the Emperor card because we're going to explore the entire floor anyway. 
I think we've already done this room, if you don't mind. Yeah, we'll take the... the emp no. We'll take the Joker instead of the Emperor. I guess we've been here. Because we don't need the Emperor. We're not going to try and skip any floor. We want the full exploration bonus. And we also want the opportunity to find a self-sacrifice room if there's going to be one. So... This may be good. It's kind of pretty good. I'm thinking it might be better. We do have a temperance card to help us... Okay, here's what I'm thinking. The IV bag allows us to take constructive red heart damage on a floor and therefore increase our HP on that floor. Uh, our damage on that floor in expense of our HP. Just the same as the IV bag does. I press the button and that thing can appear. However... We have the IV bag, so we don't need the temperance card. However, however, we're only going to need the IV bag guaranteed for, like, one more floor. So we might as well use the temperance card instead of the IV bag, since we're taking it with us anyway. Uh, leave the IV bag behind and use Tammy's head, which seems to be pretty good. Except I'm not really using it. It's going to be pretty good on rooms which have a lot of things that are going to... Hurt. So we'll come back down here. No, 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 no. Put that back. Thank you. We should use it a little bit, actually, since we can. Uh, where's my Joker card? So I want to replace the Emperor card with the Joker card. Uh, so we'll keep the Temperance card and replace the tap. There we go. Temperance, Joker. That's what we want. We'll use this for a while in case we get some sacks. Take that. Now we can get permanent Polaroid invincibility. Oh, it doesn't work <laughs> if we get hit. That's a few extra uh, points, at least. Slightly min-maxi, but this is the min-maxi part of the game. We're at 30 minutes. Uh, pardon me. The problem here is that I have a charged shot. And... If I hold down the button for too long, I end up with a bomb. <laughs> I really didn't mean to pick up Cursed Eye, but I suppose it's something you should be practicing with. So we'll use the Temperance straight away. Uh, maybe we should wait until we've got some HP before we use it? Yeah, okay. Good thinking, Batman. There we go. Now we can use it a lot because we get permanent Polaroid invincibility and we got the blood bag, which is kind of what I wanted anyway. Unfortunately, we don't get the full effect out of it because <laughs> it's gone. And we didn't keep the IV bag in favour of Tammy's head, which I should probably use once in a while. If this thing would actually pop up, that would be valuable. There we go. Oh, infamy, yeah, sure. The Hermit. That'll get us out of something, but but what? So I'm hoping for the uh, self-sacrifice room on this floor, and for a lot of HP to drop. Which is, uh... I mean... I kind of wish I had Bloody Penny back. Because then we don't need to worry about whether all the HP is going to drop. What aura have we got? I'm not sure. I don't think it's that good. Oh, hello. Hello? There we go. I haven't really got anything to say. It's just we, we press the button. A fly does some work if we have flies. Tamiya's head does some work if we hit with it. A bomb does the work if we charge for too long. That's kind of it. We haven't been hit in order to teleport for some time. Like, we haven't teleported as a result of getting hit. At all. I want... Well, there you go. That's how that works. Our damage is not nearly as good as it was at the end of the last floor. I think we've lost an aura bonus, and also we haven't been hit as much. We haven't taken all the damage that we took uh, from the IV bag on the last floor. Because we lost our temperance card, which is a bit of a shame, but we can do. That is the secret room, and it is a greed fight. Which doesn't really interest me at this stage. But it's over quickly, and I did get hit. I thought I was not going to get hit. Otherwise, I would have moved, I guess. Seems pretty obvious. <laughs> not necessarily worth saying. We've got a Joker card. I mean, the Joker card basically affords us... Fuck it. We'll use it. What have we got in here? It's Krampus. Of course it's fucking Krampus. Why wouldn't it be Krampus? What are you talking about? What do you mean, it's Krampus? You sound a surprise, mate. We haven't had a Krampus fight yet, and it's the end of the game. Love Cole's cool. 
I like that. Fan of that. I'm wondering whether it's uh, any value at all to pick up um, a battery charge in order to reuse Tammy's head, like in terms of points. Do you get any points at all for it? Can you uh, just show your head so that I can. This room done. Danke. Is that two double key rooms and we got 95 keys and we just picked up a. So one of them is probably a dice room, which means we may be able to do this floor again. Now we're looking for an Awas room. These are two Picano rooms. Not what I asked for, in fact. We should look for an opportunity to use this dice shard here on a room that's chock full of just stuff. Stuff that's probably dropped from, um, from, from, ooh. Yeah, <laughs> I'll re-roll that for sure. Just yes. stuff that's dropped from the sacks that we're getting a lot of. Ghost Baby is something, I suppose. It's definitely better than Able. But not by a long shot. Not by a wide margin, I suppose I should say. Try not to uh, drop any poops if I can avoid it, because they do tend to explode. I mean, I know it's happening a lot. So if you can find enough... I want a good amount of things to re-roll, though. But I think we may have lost our opportunity for that. So we'll just try and um, not pick up too many coins and re-roll the rest. Ooh. Picked up the coin, that's okay. What have we got here? The hermit. Not valuable. So we re-roll the hermit into a thing, which has a thing in there. That could have been a lot better than it turned out to be. Got nothing. I was hoping to maybe get an AWAS rune out of re-rolling those, um, all those consumables. It didn't happen. I mean, we have the opportunity to go and look for the second secret room, and that has done as well before, actually. We have successfully... Oh, I should have used it here because we're going to get a lot of coin drops. That's okay. Hmm. What's this? The moon. Don't really care for that. But the second secret room's got to be somewhere. What's here? Ooh. We may have been fucked out of this by <laughs> Sack Head. Hey, what? Yarra. We'll Yarra this lot. It gives us a lot of stuff. Any amount of which could turn into with a fortune, the empress, with a fortune, the moon, moon, the empress. Or we wheel a fortune here, and like, what are the chances of this dropping a Nawaz room? Pretty low, I think. Although it's a lot of stuff. More sacks. Look, <laughs> seems to be a little bit of a vicious circle going on here. The sun doesn't help. Have we reached the end of this run? I believe we have. There's nothing here. None of this is an AWAS rune. Honestly, this very room could have been an AWAS rune had we not taken Sack Boy, Sack Head. But I also suspect we would not have had quite so many points as we just did. 142nd is a good rank. <laughs> I'll be honest with you. Uh, I know it's quite early in the day, but uh, I'm very happy with that, and I hope that you're very happy on my behalf. Um, oh, it's just me. Well, I'm winning. Well, thank you for watching. There are probably going to be a few people knocked off the top of that on greedbutt.com and a few people who come in uh, later on. But 150th at this stage is actually really good. Uh, I'm happy with that, and our consumable count at the end of that is pleasingly symmetrical. Well, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, you know what to do. Drop a like. Let me know that you liked it. Drop a comment, let me know that you liked it. Come back tomorrow to see if we like the next one. Goodbye.